Greetings. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly create a filter for any user form uh, that will allow you to find whatever controls you want quickly. And make sure to skip ahead uh, if you're getting bored. Um, here, we can sh I can show you, for example, if I type in DER, the first button is not enabled, but the second and the third are enabled. Um, this is particularly cool because you can actually hit tab to quickly skip to the different uh, components uh, to the different com buttons that you want. Uh, this makes searching for uh, diff for finding controls in a busy form very, very, very quick. Um, it's also key sensitive, so little o is not the same as big O, right? And uh, that's all I wanted to say. Um, you can type in a spacebar in here, and I'll show you why right now. If we go into and we look at the form, we can see that this is basically uh, just a text box right and um, no, yeah and the name is what's important here the name is what's being searched not the caption the reason why is because not all objects have a caption so it has to be the name that is being uh, queried so in this particular case both the name is something and the caption is something if I change the cap the caption to something else can see that both of these have a capital S. If I run this now, oops. if I run this and I type in capital S, this is going to trigger. But if I type in period, it's not. And the reason why is because it's making reference to the name, which was something, right? So that's an important, part, uh, an important consideration to keep in mind. Other than that, jumping right into the code, can show you, uh, it's all in here, we can jump in this way or also by going to view code here. Um, show you there's, so this is heavily commented to help you along. But basically there's a four that checks every control. There's, uh, it's checking to make sure that the name is not searcher because that's the name of the text box that we're using to search. I'm not gonna try to disable the thing that I'm using to search, that would be silly. And uh, then it checks for every single one of these controls that is not called searcher. It checks the length of the chunk that I'm looking for. And then it tries to match this length of this length of each name against that which I'm looking for. And that probably makes no sense. So let's go ahead and give you an example here. If I type in, uh, yeah, let's say, um, right, so E. And then we go again, and we put in R, right? So I've put in E and then R. You'll notice I have here some uh, watches for you to see. Uh, ER is the name of my value on searcher, which is this, right? So let's jump right into this. By pressing F8, I can iterate through. So then, name is searcher? No, I'm actually at the derp command. So this third button, that's where I am. So this is uh, true because it's not searcher. So then, how long is that which I'm looking for? It's two characters long, right? So now go through every single one of these names and split it up into two uh, character little chunks and uh, try to find it like so. If we iterate right through, the first two for derp is DE. That's false, so it's not going to trigger this. It's going to go to the next. ER, that is true, right? D E R. So since it is true, I'm setting this flag to EN is equal to 1. And that will later on enable this control. You see? If EN is equal to 1, then enable is equal to true. The reason why I didn't put that in here is because now, as soon as we continue this macro, then obviously uh, uh, the next character, which is going to be RP, is going to trigger this false. So if uh, if we did if we had this enabling up here, then it would become disabled. So that's why it's important to set a flag here, and that flag should enable something uh, after the fact. So we continue through. RP is false. P nothing is false. Nothing is false. So it goes to the next control, which is something after setting the flag back to zero, right? So something is not going to have any ER in it, something good. So they're all false. So then when it goes down here, 
en is equal to zero, so it disables. And so on and so forth for order list, whereas when it hits the er, then it's going to trigger this true, and like so. So the end conclusion, if I run this to conclusion, I'm left with these two controls on, which are the ones that have er. So that's basically it. If uh, you like this uh, material, then make sure to subscribe. If you don't like it, or if you like it but you have some suggestions, then please leave me a comment. Other than that, be very well.